the power to change all reality. Hi, I am your host, Sky Cheyenne, and welcome back once again to Rebuild Reality, where as always we talk about who we really are, why we're here, and how all of this stuff works. Now, I know that, you know, I do it. I know that other people who are teaching manifestation and things of this nature, we tend to kind of separate things because people are looking for solutions to their specific problems. It's like, well, my issue isn't money. My issue is my SP or my issue isn't my SP. It's health. But in reality, this is all one thing because when we get this, then we see how everything is connected because essentially this is all a mind game. We're trying to finally get our mind to see things the way things really are. We're trying to get our mind to shift its perspective from viewing all the power from being out there to all the power being within here. Because otherwise, you know, what are we doing? We're living our lives where it's just like this huge, massive struggle, right? Where, like I always say, we're like salmon swimming upstream and we're wiping ourselves out, you know, because we're going crazy trying to figure it all out. And and people will have success, but it tends to be more of a hit and miss, really. You know, it's not something where really it's like surefire dependable. And that's because we need to shift our perspective to understand this one thing. And that's that in all of manifestation and all of learning about how to manifest, all we're doing is learning to finally see, to finally shift our power from out there in the 3D world back to us. This is what changing things about is. This is what this whole mirror perspective is that it, oh, it's not out there. There's no out there out there. It's finally like, oh, wait, so if there's no out there out there, then it's me. You know, to shift that power back from the perspective of control being out there and I'm a victim of it to understanding, wait a minute, the truth is that our inner reality is more real than 3D. As crazy as that may sound, because when we finally see what's creating reality to begin with, well, it's all coming from us to begin with. When we see that correlation, like, wait a minute, I did always think that, I did always worry about that, and now it's happened. You know, that's what the whole story is about um, Job in, in, like, in scripture is about, like, you know, my fear, my greatest fears have come upon me. In other words, they've all been fulfilled. All the things you've been thinking about, well, they became your reality, which is exactly what's happening to us. <laughs> you know, our deepest fears, that's why they're usually fulfilled. Those things happen because we're creating it, you know. But in this is what the whole thing about needing to be like little children is about. Because when we understand that we are creating things from our imagination, well, what do children do? They live in their imaginary world, don't they? In fact, their imaginary world is much more real than their regular world, than reality, than 3D reality. They're living inside their head. And most of the time, you know, you'll, you'll be going to the grocery store and you're seeing this little kid and they're like, da, 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 da. they're doing all this stuff. And then you're like, hi. And they're like, oh my God, you can see me because they're literally in their own world. And I can't tell you how many times that's happened to me where kids, you know, they finally are like, oh God, you know, you said hello to me, you know, the outside world because they're, they're in their heads. They're totally lost in their minds and the stories in their mind because they understand they're still connected to that. They're still connected to the true reality where that is more real than 3D. And when we finally make that correlation, we finally begin to see that, okay, yeah, I was really worried about that, was really afraid of, of that for a long, long time, um, and now it's happened. Well, you start to see, you know, the repercussions of what we're thinking, what we're worrying about, what we're expecting, 
you know, what we're, what we're assuming. So in all of this, it's really changing that perspective from all the powers out there. You know, I've got to convince somebody, I got to jump through hoops, I got to write affirmations like, you know, 5,000 times a day, you know, to try and get something convinced that I can finally have it. So in this whole awakening, we're finally getting it. We're finally understanding that this is all about taking our power back, all of it. And certainly the whole Aquarian age is all about control. It's all about power. It's all learning, you know, what is important, um, where it's really coming from and taking back that power that no, my reality, I say what goes and my inner reality where I'm going to choose to live and just be like, whatever's happening is happening. I'm not going to let that affect me because I know I can go in and change it because I understand now finally that my inner world, my imaginary world is more real than 3D. And I think that's why there is so much put down of, oh yeah, you're in your imagination. You're not in the real world. And certainly we grow up and you know, that's kind of hammered into our head that, oh, it's time to get real now. It's time to grow up. It's time to be an adult. You know, I mean, I know I certainly like put that off as long as possible. And I think a lot of people kind of uh, do that as well because they want to live in their imaginary world, but they're not putting the correlation between the two. They think they're just avoiding things. And usually they are instead of creating things. So because if we're stay in that place where we're thinking that the outside world, that there's something we're convincing when we're manifesting, that the power is somewhere else besides us, then we're still in the illusion of separation. And this is what we want to obliterate. <laughs> this is what we want to erase is that there is any kind of separation to begin with because this is what manifesting is about. It's about understanding that it's not only all one thing, but that that steering wheel, that control panel <laughs> is in you, is in our imaginary world, you know, and to finally waking up to that and accepting it and being like, you know what? No, this is my turn. This, this is my reality. Because even logic is like, well, you, you tried the other way, right? Is it working? Probably not satisfactory if it's working at all. So this is what this, like I said, this whole awakening is about. It's about finally seeing that we're it. We are the one that that has no power over us and it never has. So finally getting it and being like, that's true. It's almost logical, you know? <laughs> so I hope that uh, makes sense. If you've got any ideas or comments about that, you know, let me know. Otherwise, to me, and I hope to you too, all power to change everything is in your hands right now. So I am your host, <laughs> Sky Cheyenne, as usual. And thank you for spending some time with me here again on Rebuild Reality, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing, for being in this experience with me, which is why I look forward to seeing you here next time on Rebuild Reality.